All right, Matt, back with another Safe Go video. You want to watch this before you buy it, but before we get into that, you want a Mike Tyson, a like, and subscribe button. So I'm pretty sure for the first 12 hours, the only way you can get Safe Go is having Safe That is driving up the Safe price. Brian does have a live stream right now, and he was touting. Well, let's see, go back to Twitter. Right here is, uh, boom, 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 where are we at? The get ready for the largest scale partnership in DeFi history. And so far, what I can see is he's talking about the week one schedule. As he's and he said, uh, we'll play it right here. And he's talking about having basically liquidity pools with Seifu Go and the tickers of these AI projects. And he's considering that a partnership. And they've been developed now in the market for a little while. They've got a token, as you see, which is FET is the ticker. We'll partner with that, meaning that you will have an FET slash ESCO liquidity pool in exactly the same way as all these other ones as well. So that's not a partnership. That's him creating a liquidity pool to try to take advantage of the Fetch.ai community or Singularity DAO. It doesn't look like he's doing with AJX, at least not in this part that I saw. And he also starts talking about the AI narrative here in a second when he talks about these guys. I'll just play a little bit of this. So you'll have Singularity DAO, which is another huge one. You've got Ori Chain. Maybe it's a le less of a known one, but it's still out there in AI. And you've also got Matrix AI Network there as well. All these different AI platforms do different things other than what Seifu Go is designed to, but it's got the AI narrative, all right? It's got the AI narrative, but it's got the AI narrative, all right? It's got the AI narrative. So that's the huge part right there. He says it's got the AI narrative. All Seifu Go, in my opinion, is trying to do, and you can have your own opinion, is this trying to take advantage of the artificial intelligence ride, try to trinjack that, ride that. And so you got to be careful when Brian Legend says about partnerships. So this is back when, before Trova, <clears throat> so this is back before for Trova launched. You can see this was five days. This was captured on 23rd of February, 2018, I guess. Oh no, this was, yeah, February 23rd, 2018 five days before the launch and you can see right here in the partnerships it's got anytime fitness all the planet fitness world gym and so la fitness and these partnerships didn't exist and so i think later on if you go look at here you can see that that's not listed on the website anymore so before the launch he touted all these partnerships that didn't exist it was anytime fitness and these guys really looking to get with some project that hadn't even launched um i don't think so right there in the kind of the ico hotbed so that doesn't even make sense so you got to take everything he says with a grain of salt these partnerships right here you can see he's trying to take advantage of the ai narrative and these aren't partnerships these are liquidity pools he's putting together to try to take advantage of his communities that's not the same as fetch that ai singularity doubt these chains going hey let's partner up and so basically, in some sense, it feels like all they're doing is, is making a smart contract that they can change, basically a programmable smart contract. And so you just really need to question the AI narrative. If you want to hop in, make some money, maybe you like it. But if you look at his marketing, a lot of his marketing has some BS involved in it. And he's making partnerships basically that are one-sided. And you just got to keep that in mind. You do whatever you want. You can roast me. Uh, that's my opinion, and we all have our opinion. So let me know what you think. Are you jumping into Safe Who Go? And, uh, you know, people can make money in the short term. Doesn't mean that it's going to stick around. And you can see Brian's idea of a partnership is way different than most other people's idea of a partnership. He's very loose with that. Also, another thing is uh, I'm so. So am I allowed to say Seifu has outperformed Hex now? Isn't it 18,000 X not enough yet? And everyone's roasting him in the confidence because it's 18,000%. So he's, bro, don't know the difference between percentage and X. X is not uh, percentage divided by 100 and you'll get an accurate picture. So a bunch of people are roasting him there. So, so I think you just want to be careful when someone has uh, sensationalized marketing that's sometimes not accurate and just ask yourself, is the AI tech going to really be good? And right here, you can see this is Seifu Go AI tech, uh, fair launch in four days. 
And then here's for Trova back in 2018. Pre-ICO will start in five days. And there's this, these bullshit partnerships. So that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and have a good day.